Hello everyone, this is Shahar and today I'm going to show you how you can watch Splatnet 2 on your computer. This is the app Nintendo Switch Online that you can download on the App Store or Google Play, depends on your mobile and it lets you see data from the game Splatoon 2 and it saves up to the most recent uh, 50 battles and we're gonna see how we can view it on our computer first what you wanna do is go to a site called stat.inc that site lets you save all your uh, splatnet do data of battles and shifts and whatnot uh, to that site and not have that 50 uh, battles limit you can import uh, the data from two, two apps Squidtracks and Splendid 2 Stat Inc. Uh, I personally use uh, the second one, so we're gonna click that. And we're gonna go to a GitHub site, and there's a repository here that has instructions on how to use the commands and the features and whatnot, and how to set it up. So we're gonna follow the setup instructions and do exactly as it tells us. We're gonna download and install Python. We're using Windows and we're gonna go to the official website and download the latest version. There it is right now. So we're gonna click on that and it tells us in the instructions check the option during setup to edit to your path. What it does is, is it lets us it lets us uh, use the commands in the command prompt console or in or in shell or in PowerShell. So we're gonna add that to the path and install now. We're gonna let it run. In the meantime we're gonna go to step two. If you're on Windows install git. So we're gonna click on that and go to that site, click on Windows and keep. Python just finished uh, installing. That's great. Now we're gonna wait for the Git to download. We're gonna click next a bunch of times. I already installed it, so I have a folder there, but it should not uh, show up to you that uh, prompt. And we're gonna install it. The third step requires us to have Git, so we're gonna wait for it to install. We're gonna finish, then we're gonna go to step 3. Download the script for command line. Uh, we're using Windows, so we wanna use Command Prompt Console or PowerShell. Uh, we have a command here that we need to copy. You can copy it with uh, Control C and then Control V, or uh, right click and copy. And then we're gonna go to uh, click the Windows button here or the one in the keyboard and click and type uh, command prompt. What you want to do right now is uh, paste what we copied. What it does, it clones the repository in that link to our end computer. So we're gonna do that, and it copied the 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 folder. So we want to find that. Let's go and try to locate it. It should be in your C in a disk drive in users, user, whatever that name may be, and go scroll down to S and it's right here so we never we want to navigate to the newly created directory in step 4 how we do that we want to copy that command in the command prompt so we basically went from c users user to splatnet standard inc 
what it means we're right now inside the folder. Now we want to install a uh, Python libraries. We need to, s to run a certain command uh, pip install uh, our requirements.txt and on Windows we, you may have to use that command instead. So we're, we're gonna try, we're gonna copy that. Uh, it says something about you're using pip version, so we're gonna try to uh, do the th this command instead. Python and pip install uh, our requirements txt you should consider upgrading to the upgrading via the mp install upgrade pip I don't know what it wants We are going to see if it uh, downloaded the, the requirements. It's right here. I guess we have the folder right now. So what we want to do is drag this one over here. Click enter. And it runs the, the script of the repository. So it says generating new config file what it wants right now is the API key that is one that is on our stat.ink site so what you want to do is uh, log in create yourself a, a user or log in with Twitter I'm gonna log in with Twitter because I think it would be much faster And what you want to go from here is you want to go to your uh, profile and settings, and you have your own API token. Uh, what it shows you is like the your own ID that you can uh, have for the for the site. So I'm gonna hide it for a bit. I'm gonna show it, I'm gonna copy and then uh, run the command in the and copy it to the command console. The next step that it shows us is if we want to uh, have the, the local a language to be uh, English we're gonna press enter and then it tells us to get our own a uh, cookie for the session token uh, basically you want to go to navigate to this URL you copy the URL here to your uh, browser and it sends you to a, a Nintendo site that you can log in and uh, use your uh, uh, information. What you want to do from here is select this account and you want to copy the link address over here. And then you want to paste it below. What it does, it, it gives the, the, the script the cookie it needs to to run the, the script uh, and have uh, information about it, all the data that it needs. So we got ourselves the the token, and now we can use the the app as normal. So we can uh, like make it upload certain uh, battles. I think I uploaded all my battles. But we can try to upload the most recent battles. Uh, what is more important is now that you can use the uh, 
the token you got on your browser. You can see the the site, the Splinter 2 app on your site. Uh, what we want to do is go over here, go to your browser, and install a, an extension called Edit This Cookie. Edit This Cookie extension. So we're gonna go here and edit to Chrome so we can uh, change the cookie. Of certain sites and now uh, we can go to the URL uh, to the link that has Splatner 2 app which I'm gonna leave in the description which is right here app.splatner2nintendo.net home and it says forbidden because it doesn't have the correct uh, cookie or, to or token so what we want to do is um, go to our repository folder and we have the config uh, file. We want to copy the cookie that we have here and go to edit this cookie and ba basically just replace it and press uh, V. Now when you refresh the page, you can finally see the app and scroll down and see all your stats and whatnot and here you go, that's all you have to do. Now if you want to upload your battles uh, with the app, you can just uh, drag this file over here and you can type minus M which will uh, upload battles, recent battles uh, every five minutes or minus R which will uh, upload uh, all the recent battles that weren't uploaded yet and there's all of the all of the commands here that you can use with your uh, uh, with your script so I hope this uh, and this tutorial helped you and this guide and you can now uh, have all the information you need on your PC and uh, enjoy.